The Easter season is a time of hope. Because Jesus rose from the dead, each of us lives in the sure hope of our own resurrection. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I think it's important for us to savor this hope. We live in dark times when we're tempted by hopelessness or despair. Maybe that's why Pope Benedict wrote his second encyclical letter about hope. Here's the beginning of that letter. In hope we are saved, says St. Paul to the Romans, and likewise to us. According to the Christian faith, redemption, salvation, is not simply a given. Redemption is offered to us in the sense that we have been given hope by virtue of which we can face our present. The present, even if it is arduous, can be lived and accepted if it leads toward a goal, if we can be sure of this goal, and if this goal is great enough to justify the effort of the journey." End quote. In other words, Jesus died to save us from sin and death, and he rose to blaze a trail to heaven for us. This is the hope we need to savor. It's not the hope that everything will be fine, that we'll never get sick or lose a loved one, or that we'll never have to struggle. Those aren't realistic hopes, because as the psychologist M. Scott Peck wrote at the beginning of his bestseller, The Road Less Traveled, life is difficult. The hope that we cling to is that no matter what happens in this life, Jesus died to save us, and his power can bring us to our goal, our great hope, heaven.